Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Someone was asking about what to do with scraps once you've made your uh, initial project with your paper pads. Um, so I'm going to be showing a couple of examples of things that I did with some of the leftover of Baby Dreams Girl collection of paper by Country Craft Creations. Um, but I also wanted to pull out a couple examples of some of the things that I've done in the past. And basically, uh, most times I'm creating either embellishments um, for mini albums or I'm creating embellishments for swaps that would be put in there or um, toppers for cards. Um, sometimes I've done some uh, bag toppers as well, so that's a fun thing to do. But uh, here's a couple examples. So I have something here. And if you have word dies, cut out a bunch of those out of your leftover um, cardstock colors. And that will give you some options to make things quickly. So this is happy birthday. Let me make sure I have it the right way. Um, you can see I added a little bit of bling there. Um, I do some paper layering. I use some leftover um, chipboard to do the um, uh, pop-up for some of these to give some a little bit of dimension so here's a card just says welcome you can see that I layered you know some of the paper here I used a gel pen to decorate and then this is just a card here's a little bag uh, that I decorated so I pulled the bag out of my stash and I put a little you know bow on it I used some crepe paper uh, for a little um, rosette there behind, a circle punch, some of the paper there, and then I just put a couple of um, punched out pieces like this star on it, and a leaf out of my stash. So that's an example. Sometimes it's just a quick little embellishment like this. You can see I used pop dots there underneath that one. These are just ready for a sentiment to be added. This is another card. You might have it like this. Maybe the sentiment reads this way. Here's another one. This is leftover paper that I um, had strips of paper. I laid it down on a backing of cardstock. I cut it into the square and then I die cut out the butterfly. I use the butterfly on something else. There you go. Yeah. And again, I just put some seam binding here and that makes that. This one's not quite done yet, but you can see I've started the topper for a card. This one also. Here I've just layered some fishtail flags made a little tiny rosette. Let's see if I can... That's better. Top of a card, cut out these peaches, and then layered it on top, you know, those fussy cutting. Here's another one. Use my sewing machine button. This one just did some real dimensioning here. You can see there's a couple different layers. I double stack some of the pop dots on there. Okay, real geometric shapes. Here's another card. There's some stuff that's ready to go into some happy mail. So, got this one that one. This one's ready for a card. Just made some little balloons. Um, so I just gather stuff up and put them all together and then start every once in a while pull it out and start going through and making stuff with it which is basically what you all asked for me to do. So um, take a look at this little um, video. It's a processed video and I hope you enjoy.
Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Some of you all wanted to see uh, what we could do as far as um, uh, crafting and using of the scraps you have left over from projects. So, uh, similar to Sally, what I've done is rummage through my room, I guess, um, not necessarily through my whole house, but my room in order to just pull out a few paper punches or uh, stamps, some materials that I could use to decorate like Nouveau um, here, some flowers, some lace, um, some scrap paper. So I don't know if you all do this, but yeah, I'm guilty. I work with scraps all the time. So I color uh, my cardstock, uh, place it in color families away so that I can go to it just like this in order to pull stuff out and make things every once in a while. So here I have some pinks I'm going to be looking for and possibly some of the yellows in order to complement the Baby Dreams Girl collection uh, that I just finished up the mini album for. And if you want to see that, just check out the video that's on my, my screen on my uh, channel. But just taking a couple scissors here and chopping off some stuff. I went through um, my stash and I pulled out stuff that I want to try to use up. And let me get a little close up here. So let's see if I can find this up a little bit. Yep. Okay, so again, some stamps, some stickers, some flatbacks, um, some punches. I have some paper clips here. Um, I bought from Dollar Tree some of this wall border that teachers use um, on their stuff and every once in a while I'll pull some of it out so I see some gold and I want to pick up the yellows that are in the paper. Anybody have some of these old time things um, still in their stash? K and Company. Um, every once in a while I will pull some of these out and use them. And let's see. Um, yeah, of course, we have some beautiful seam binding we're going to use. Um, and then the other thing that I pulled out is just some uh, larger paper. In this case, I pulled out some blush uh, paper for me to stack some stuff on. And the other thing that I do, guilty, I have little odds and ends that I put into um, little baskets that I got from the Dollar Tree or little bowls might use some of those. Um, see, scraps, paper, that kind of thing that I like to mix and match. Here's some cutouts that I did of paper. We might layer some of those because the coloring looks really pretty together. Old bows might use. Um, some more bows, some more flat back type of gems. You can just pull, you know, get off of um, Amazon or with your swaps. I get a lot of the stuff through swaps. Um, your shiny paper. I try not to throw away the scraps. I punch out um, from the leftovers first, so I might throw in some of these. You know, use my little circle punch and scallop circle punch, that kind of thing. Pull out some of your shape punches that you have. Um, okay, so get started and then of course the